In this video, I'm going to rate and compare the Trezor Model 1 and the Ledger Nano S Plus, which are the two entry-level crypto wallets from these respective companies. Now, bottom line up front, if you just came for the conclusion, I think that the Ledger Nano S Plus is the winner. It's the better crypto wallet, although it's slightly more expensive. Now, if you want to see the detailed breakdown of how I came to that conclusion, including how I rank these two crypto wallets based on these categories, then stick around. Okay, for starters on the price point, the Ledger Nano S Plus is definitely more expensive. It currently costs $88.64 US, whereas the Trezor Model 1 can be ordered for 69 US dollars. So you can get a decent savings if you wanna go for the Trezor Model 1. And so in this category, it's pretty simple. The Trezor Model 1 is the best option when it comes to price for these two entry-level crypto wallets. Okay, the next category is look and feel. Now the Ledger Nano S Plus has a metal casing, which feels quite nice, it's very solid, and it has a plastic actual body. These two buttons here are what you do to control it, but overall I would say it has a very solid and sturdy look and feel to it, and the metal casing really is a nice touch with the Ledger logo on it. On the other hand, the Trezor Model 1 does look and feel a little bit cheap. It's made of plastic, it has two simple buttons on the front, but it has no protective case made of metal, and just overall, it's kind of lightweight. In fact, it weighs much less than the Nano S Plus, and so I definitely don't think that this looks and feels as premium. So on the second category, look and feel, definitely the Ledger Nano S Plus is the winner. Now, in terms of the actual hardware functions, both of them have a small display screen that are controlled by two buttons. The Trezor buttons are on the front and the Ledger buttons are on the top, but they both operate in a pretty similar way. You need to unlock them by plugging them into your computer, unlocking them with a pin code, and then to confirm transactions, you hit the button. The Ledger Nano S Plus comes with a longer cable, which is definitely helpful and makes it a little bit easier to use, whereas the USB cable for the Trezor Model 1 is definitely too short. However, overall in this category, I don't think that either crypto wallet has a significant edge, while the Ledger Nano S Plus definitely feels better. In terms of the actual hardware functionality, they're pretty much the same. Now, when it comes to the application or the software that you use to access your cryptocurrency for both of these crypto wallets, I would say that they have a similar look and feel. This is the Ledger Live app, and this is the Trezor app. So you can see they do have a similar vibe. However, when you dig down into it, Ledger Live, the software or the application, is definitely a lot better. So for starters, you have this first page where you can track your portfolio growth over time. You can see what different assets you have. There's a market tab where you can do research on different cryptocurrencies. You can look at all of your different accounts in the account tab. The Discover tab has a bunch of different crypto applications, some of which are actually very useful and they're compatible with use in the app. So that is definitely a nice feature. There's the send, receive, earn. So if you wanted to, for example, stake some Ethereum or some different cryptocurrencies, you could do that here through the earn tab. You can actually buy and sell cryptocurrency also directly in the Ledger Live application. Now, I don't necessarily recommend doing this because they charge pretty high fees compared to what you can get elsewhere, but having it here is definitely a nice feature. You can also swap between different cryptocurrencies. So for example, if you have Bitcoin, but you wanna get that into Ethereum, you can do that swap through the Ledger Live app, although they will charge you fees that are higher than you should be paying. Now, in terms of the Trezor application, I would say that it's definitely much more bare bones. You have different assets that you can track so you can see what you have in your different accounts. And they do have the portfolio tab where you can track the growth of your portfolio over time. And you can hit on the accounts tab and see all the different accounts that you have. But that's basically it. So it has a small fraction of the features that Ledger Live has. It's definitely solid if all you want to do is just, for example, buy Bitcoin and hold it over the long run and you don't wanna do anything else. But if you're looking to have more interaction with Web3, with dApps, and to do various things, I would say that the Trezor application is lagging in that regard. So in the software or application category, Ledger definitely takes the win. Now, when it comes to coins supported or the number of different cryptocurrencies that you can hold and manage with both of these different crypto wallets, the Nano S Plus gives you access to over 5,000 different coins, including the main ones like Bitcoin and Ethereum, and then also a variety 
of other cryptocurrencies and coins, pretty much anything that you could possibly be interested in. Now the Trezor Model 1, on the other hand, has only access to 1,289 different coins and tokens. So it has less versatility in that regard, although obviously that is a lot. And probably that 1,289 contains most of what you should be interested in. And if you're at the point where you're trying to trade the 4,999th coin that's offered on Ledger Live, then maybe you should rethink that decision. And in the coins supported category, again, the Ledger Nano S Plus takes the win. Now, when it comes to security, this one is a little bit of a toss up. Both companies have had different issues at separate points. So for example, with the Trezor, actually it turns out that Kraken's security team was able to brute force hack the Trezor Model 1 crypto wallet with approximately 15 minutes. So that is obviously less than ideal. Now, as far as I can tell, the Ledger Nano has never actually been physically hacked, although there have been some other security related concerns. So for example, Ledger, the company, was hit with a phishing attack at one point and a bunch of different email addresses were stolen from the company. So there is that privacy concern and security in that regard, although it's not like anyone was actually hacking directly into a physical Ledger wallet. And also recently, Ledger was proposing to offer a firmware update that was considered by some to be quite controversial because it potentially would have given Ledger the ability to access users' cryptocurrency in theory. And one major difference in terms of how these two crypto wallets operates is that the Trezor Model 1 operates on an open source system. So that means that the company that created this crypto wallet published the code for everyone to look at. And that means on the one hand that hackers have access to the code and they can try and find vulnerabilities to exploit. But on the other hand, it means that everyone that uses this can look at the code and audit the code. And it means that a lot more people have had an opportunity to audit this code and to ensure that it's actually secure. So that is one thing. On the other hand, the Ledger security system is closed source. It's not open to the general public, it's proprietary. And so that means in this case, you have to trust the Ledger company to know what they're doing with their software and with their firmware. Now, realistically, in either case, I would say both are decent options, as long as you're not giving anybody your private key to access your crypto. However, given the recent news about Ledger, which has caused a little bit of controversy and the fact that Trezor is open source and also basically one of the first crypto wallets ever to exist, and also the fact that they're less compatible with different applications, which means that you can't do as much with it, but also it means it's not interacting as much with the outside world. So I would say maybe the Trezor Model 1 takes a slight edge in this category of security, although it's definitely close and both are still solid options. So when we look at both of these products holistically, and we'll throw it up on screen here, you can see that Trezor only wins really in the categories of security and the category of price. But everywhere else, in my opinion, the Ledger Nano S is a superior crypto wallet. And so if I was going to recommend one of these to a complete beginner, I would probably recommend the Ledger Nano S Plus. While the Trezor Model 1 is still a good option and it's definitely slightly cheaper. I would say that overall the versatility of the Ledger wallet and the fact that you can do so much more with it makes it a lot better. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful and if there's anything else that you want me to review or rate and compare, let me know down in the comments and I will definitely get to that. Have a great day.